1945, a time of jubilation, but the times of struggle were not over. China now faced a choice between two futures. Putting considerations of personal safety to one side, Mao Zedong departed for Chongqing, determined to secure peace. In June 1946, Chiang Kai-shek brazenly tore up the Double Tenth Agreement and unleashed full-scale civil war. With a strength of 1.27 million, the PLA was vastly outnumbered by the 4.3 million KMT troops. Mao Zedong said, all the reactionaries are paper tigers. The PLA broke through the KMT's encirclement in the Central Plains, then won a series of campaigns in East China. The Northwest Field Army slogged through a bloody war of attrition, achieving three successive victories. Meanwhile, the East China Field Army launched the Meng Liangu Campaign, in which the 74th Reorganized Division was completely destroyed as a fighting force. Led by Mao Zedong, the CPC Central Committee and the PLA headquarters masterminded the nationwide campaign. On all the fronts, the PLA went on to a general strategic offensive footing. Mao Zedong later observed that this was the turning point. 20 years of Chiang Kai-shek misrule and a century of imperialist domination were coming to an end. Where the Kuomintang still held sway, patriotic students and Democrats formed a second front in the People's Liberation War. On September 12, 1948, the Liaoning Shenyang campaign began. In 52 days, a total of 472,000 enemy soldiers were neutralized. Then the stage was set for the Huai Hai campaign, in which Huang Baitao's, Huang Wei's, and Du Yuming's armies were destroyed. As Marshal Chun Yi once said, victory in the Huai Hai campaign was thanks to the wheelbarrows of the common people. Then, the PLA launched Beiping Tianjin campaign. After 29 hours of fighting, Tianjin was liberated. Thanks to the constant endeavors of the CPC Central Committee and the PLA, Beiping was peacefully liberated. On February 3rd, the PLA held a victory parade in Beijing then called Beiping. On the orders of Chairman Mao Zedong, armed PLA soldiers marched through the city's legation quarter area in high spirits. In the three major campaigns, the KMT suffered total losses of more than 1.54 million men. Its main military forces, on which it relied to maintain its reactionary rule, had been largely destroyed. On April the 21st, Mao Zedong and Zhu De issued the order to the army for the countrywide advance. Millions of PLA soldiers launched the Yangtze River crossing campaign. On April the 23rd, 1949, the reactionary rule of the Kuomintang was over. 